Uh, here I'll show you how to configure your Elastic Beanstalk container uh, for Next.js app. Uh, we'll start from the basic stuff, uh, just packaging your uh, Next.js app and uh, pushing it in to, to the Elastic Beanstalk container. And I'll show some basic configuration you can set up on the Elastic Beanstalk. And as we go along in the other videos, I'll pimp up the Elastic uh, Beanstalk container along with the Next.js app. And all of the code will be shared uh, in the description of the video. Uh, link to the GitHub repository and to my blog post. Uh, here uh, I have created a simple Next.js app with uh, create next app. And we are going to push it on the last beanstalk. So when do we need to start thinking about Elastic Beanstalk? Uh, if you have a Next.js static website uh, and you can just export it, uh, I suggest maybe using uh, S3. There's another post about that, I'll share in the link. And if you have a hybrid website, uh, for instance, you have some dynamic pages, that are served with the guest server side props, uh, then uh, this uh, should be a perfect solution for you. Uh, here, I'm going to show you how to create a new Elastic Beanstalk application, and I'll upload a simple Next.js app, and by default, it will run on 8080 port. Call it my demo app. Our platform is uh, Node.js. I'll upload uh, my code. Uh, that's from the example Node.js app. Uh, I created the zip file with uh, the help of uh, this utility. Uh, what it does, it uh, builds the app and uh, compresses all of the needed files in a zip file. And that zip file will be uploaded to Elastic Beanstalk. Okay, create application. This will take a few minutes for the first time. It took a few minutes for the app, uh, for this app to be built. And final result is that your app is uh, present, uh, it's working on the URL that's provided by our uh, Elastic Beanstalk environment.